yet hated Dungeon Master because I see the videos of people going like Matthew Mercer ruined D and D. I'm like the dude's awesome. <laughs> yeah, he is. I mean, you have there's such uh, a theatrics that goes into being a, a good Dungeon Master, right? It's it's and 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 nothing against the people who are just straight up reading out of the little gray box that comes in this in the set and being like uh, you arrived at, at that's me and this is happening and <laughs> it, <laughs> nothing against that because it tells a story and then and the story is really and truly not supposed mm-hmm. to be about the dungeon master anyway it's supposed to be about the players you're just refereeing and you're just kind of laying out and being that arbiter uh, so when you have someone like Matthew Mercer who can take it to that next level and be that compelling voice and not just mm-hmm. reading out of that gray box but like bringing that gray box to life and bringing the NPCs alive and not just saying what the NPC is saying but like acting out and like the feelings and the voice and the uh, and it and it and it brings that 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 dungeon master role to a whole new level and so when people have at least my opinion when people have hard feelings against Matthew Mercer I think it's because yeah. He has set that bar so high. So it's kind of like being mad yeah. at Babe Ruth for being able to do what he did best, or Michael Jordan. Mm-hmm. For I, I feel like it's just, it just gives unreal game. expectations for the home D&D game. I think that's why people get so upset. They're like, well, why can't my DM be like that? <laughs> like, like are they, or a first-time player, their only <laughs> experience is Critical Role, and then they go to a D&D session, and they're like, well, this is vastly different. Yeah. you know. So it's... But honestly, yeah, like, yeah. I feel... I feel Matthew Mercer Critical was a great thing for Dungeons and Dragons. I enjoyed watching a lot of their episodes. I used to go hang out with Josh and we just literally hang out or pizza, you know, watch four hours of Critical Role. And like, there was moments where I was like, this is amazing storytelling. There's moments where I'm like, I can't wait till next week. And then there's moments where I'm like, I need a break. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, no, there, there's lots of moments mm-hmm. on both sides of that for me. Yeah. Yeah, you know, and it's it's it, it it does go back to, and I don't know what it is, and I, and maybe it's because of my age, and I won't I won't say all oh, this generation. I'm not going to do that, because that will age me even more. But <laughs> but I will say, no one is going and watching. Like you said, you got together with Josh, and y'all watch Critical Role on the couch, and y'all mm-hmm. took it in and as as an event. No one is watching the Super Bowl for four hours, and then going out in the street and being mad that they're not Peyton Manning. Or, or, or whoever yeah. the, the big quarterback at the time is, you have to put yourself in. in yeah, you know. No, and I, I it just you know what I'm saying. I think it was so good for for D and D, and people are overcritical and over like just. I think people overanalyze things, which is what I'm doing right now. But I just feel like people overanalyze stuff and just can't yeah, right? like just just accept <laughs> the fact that a critical role exists in a D and D. It's like comparing it to comic books because we're comic book people. It's like Marvel and DC and indie mm-hmm. comics. Like Marvel and DC and they're are, are really in their own industry, right? Like they're not they're not necessarily like yeah. you can't really compare sales to Marvel. You can't really compare the way that they create the books to how Marvel creates the books. Like it's a vastly different thing. They're two separate honestly, like the comic book industry and Marvel and DC are two separate industries. Um and I would say oh, yeah. at this point, critical role and your Dungeons and Dragons community are two separate industries at this point. And now the fact that they're 